Right, we're at Monk's Pit in Cambridgeshire and uh, desperately trying to catch a 40 pounder from here. Came on here 2009, caught well straight away, got up to Gill Cluster about 38 pounds. Um, fished it on and off for a couple of years, had a few 30s, few 20s, but not 40 pounder. At the time, it had about 11 40s at the right time of year and after they spawned it dropped down to four. Wind the clock on 10 years and it's currently about 25 plus 40s in here now and one at 54 pound fish called black spot. So <clears throat> since I came back from Thailand I've landed 20 fish from here. The biggest is 28 pound so I'm really on pest control at the moment. I'll um, cut some of them fish in, which I videoed. Uh, some of it's pretty poor footage because I couldn't afford a tripod and I sort of put the camera on top of the bucket and, well, it's crap if I'm honest. But I've got a tripod now, which is what I'm looking at now, £7.99 off um, Amazon, which is good. So this little film is all going to be about me trying to get a 40 pounder from Cambridgeshire. Now, I got lucky the other week and I managed to Pop my fourth Norfolk 40 out um, when this place was shut because the fish couldn't make their mind up if they were going to have their yearly <laughs> or not. So it was shut for quite a few weeks. But it's open again now. There's, um, like I say, there's loads of 40s in here in 15 acres of water. Um, a lot of lads are catching them, but I'm not. I'm on proper pest control. Um, this year I've done, I don't know, 17 nights, had four fish, that's nothing special. Made some schoolboy errors at the start of the year, but got my thinking head on a little bit better now. And uh, knocking off a bit of the old rust, I got a bit rusty and the memory's going. So, um, yeah, here we go. We're at Monks. It's all about catching a 40. Um, and that'll be 40 pounders from four different counties. Norfolk, Kent, Surrey and Cambridgeshire. So that would be nice, and um, this is going to be my little journey uh, as I try to catch one. And like I said, I've got some on video from last year and what I've caught this year, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. See how it goes. Oh, look at that beauty! There you go, 17 pound 10. Lovely. Right, can you see that beauty? What a carp! Okay. What a cracker! <laughs> yes. Morning. It's early. Lovely. Monk's mirror carp. £23.4. So, uh, we'll get him back. <laughs> Thank you. 
The others were a 25 and a 23, but uh, very happy with that. Got another couple of nights to go. Wednesday afternoon, and uh, a bite during the day, which is nice. A lovely common 24-10, just rattled off on the old uh, right hand rod. So. What oh, fish, stunning. Well happy with that. So uh, that's three twenties now on this trip. So happy, happy days. Hey! Look at that bad boy. Right, disaster. For some reason the camera isn't working. But here is a cracking 22 and a half pound common which uh, opens to be a count for this year. It's all gone wrong with my camera, I don't know why I'll have to sort that out, but uh, we're up and running. Thank you. Let's get this back. Yeah, it's a cracker, isn't it? Right, here we go, just in. Oh, look at him posing with his fin up. Mate, that is amazing. Get closer. That looks amazing, that really do. Alright, there's a nice right. little fish but on the video, look. 17, 18, maybe not. 17, 18, I think. But a corky looking fish. So we'll put him back and get the rod out with a new hook on. <laughs> do, it? Go for the camera video thing, Mom. £23. Look like the hook slipped in the fight, but that'll do. Get him back. Nice pretty one. Yeah. Okay, so that brings us up to date historically. This session, I had a 23 pound mirror on a little fruity squid barrel wafter. 14 wraps to the church, like they always are. 15, whatever it was. And then yesterday, got a run and it got me stuck in the kelp. Now this kelp weed is the Arnold Schwarzenegger of weed. You can get them stuck in there, you can get above them and pull the line and they will not budge, not like Canadian where you can get them up. Yesterday it's ripped off, it's got stuck, Ugh. could be anything, could be a 50, could be up 48, could be anything. So I phoned my mate Rob up and said, oh mate, I said, I hold my hands up, I need a hand. I've done it before, I've had bites, I've gone out, I've just lost them, every one of them, just pulling wrong or cocking it up, not knowing what I'm doing. He said, do you want me to come and give you a hand? I said, yeah, please. He said, I'll bring Henry round, his dog. So anyway, they came round to give me a hand. We managed to get it all on film, which is great. Thank you very much, Sean, I believe the chap's name was. And um, when they turned up, it was brilliant. Henry went round the back of the corner, the back of the bib was spinning round at high speed, going, pff, 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 doing lumps of shit. Mark I couldn't stop laughing. He's crazy. Anyway, me and Rob went out in a boat with dreams of netting the first fish out of a boat being some big, massive chunk of Saurus Rex, and this is what happened. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're, I mean, we can basically row to it, can't we? That's what they do, yeah. people who know what they're doing. Well, you can't wind yourself to them. Yeah. If, you, if you're doing it yourself, you want to wind yourself.
trying to do. Right, okay. Here we go. This is where we lose smoke. Yeah, let's have this bit. <laughs> yeah, this could be worth it. Can <laughs> we? We're uh, wrapped up behind your uh, <laughs> zone. Stay. Mate, I've done ballet. There's no one more nimble than me in the whole world ever. We'll see in a minute. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Everything I do's got accent written all over it. <laughs> Right, so that's I'll all. I'll watch him get out the boat. <laughs> Nambo! Don't help him, let him get out. <laughs> There's a lot of abuse going on here. It's not my fault, in fact, I've got bad glands. <laughs> you your glands. you got them overactive things, haven't you? Overactive bollocks. Oh. <laughs> overactive hands. <laughs> overactive knife and fork. Oh, God, that's the first fish I've ever landed from a boat. So 17 pound, that's the first um, boat fish I can feel his hand behind me. <laughs> Got to do a nice it. one, look. The dog's the best one of the three, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's no doubt about that. What do you reckon, mate? Like a bit of fish, eh? Yeah. Just get a bit closer, Dean, with that one, yeah? I'll zoom, I'll zoom, zoom. Dean. I was, yeah. But you lose quality when you do that. What right, matter with you two? <laughs> <laughs> so 17 pound of first boat caught fish. With help from Rob and Henry was running around doing a shit, which I actually think we're now in. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> oh, cheers lads. No, I see it. Well done. Sweet Barbecue's lit. A nice little drop of Rioja. Bit of tunage in the corner. And tonight's special surprise is the Big Daddy Rump Steak from Sainsbury's that you can turn into starter, a main and a pudding. Rods are out, the fish is showing, gotta love fishing. So there you go, first boat, nice little 16-12 I think it was, nice little double, good laugh, nice to get one in, not lose, that's two fish for this session. So we're up to like I say 20 fish now since I came back from Thailand, biggest 28. Um, I'm going to be having a go at it now I've got a new job four days on four days off and hopefully I can motivate myself to get my butt up here at least every other week and um, you know get a couple of nights in and hopefully get one of these big ones so it's all out for a month's 40 oh and finally I meant to say don't forget this is not a thinking tackle production it's me with the 100 quid camcorder free software windows movie maker and some some little audio things i found so it's there will be times when if i do catch one we won't get me playing it i'll just be holding it up it is what it is it's smoke tv it's cheap and cheerful and hopefully we'll have some nice fish but i will drop that uh, north 40 on this little bit here because i love it my ass is going off you're doing that. Please be nice. Oh. <laughs> Forty-one four. Norfolk coming. Get in there. I am buzzing. After struggling for the last two years, first day on Layfields. I deserve a big one with some luck. <laughs> Funny old fine. That's got coot written all over it. If that's a coot, <laughs> if that's a coot, it's on a motorbike. He's going on his summer holiday. Oh, there's the leader. It's definitely a fish.
Unfortunately, there'll be nothing delicate <laughs> or subtle about the next three seconds. <laughs> The old arm starts to <laughs> ache a little bit. Come on. I'm not the handsome, strong young man I used to be. Don't lose it now, mate. You got thought you had an audience over there then. Got in cover though, we're both tiring a little. Come on, let's get his head up. Oh, he doesn't like that. Oh, dear me. Stop your messing around. Ah, <laughs> better think of your pictures. Ah, if you don't get it in soon, ah, it's gonna. Didn't fall off. <laughs> ah, Spuggy. Come on, stop pissing about. Get on the job in there. You're ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a puff on my inhaler, then we'll deal with this. Oh, my old film. So that's a <laughs> Okay, £20.8 ounces of uh, common car. Very happy with that. After my abysmal record previously. Smile, though. So, £20, and we had a uh, 28 last night. I'll do all that video diary crap later because I forgot all about it. Love. Well, there's some pellet for you, and crushed boilies, and sweet corn, and response pellet, and we've got fish smart liquid, hemp seed oil, and link stick mix all in that. That'll be going off. So, uh, got two in for the night. Got one in under the tree where the 28 came from last night, behind them midges, that tree there. The middle rod is 24 wraps to the left of Andy Dalton's little bald head. Uh, and done the right hand rod yet. I'm just waiting to see if anything shows. That little flat spot there, that's Lawrence. He's, he's moved up next to me because the fish are showing there. That's his rods one of them or two of them whatever and uh, yeah fish have been showing so just want to get this one right for the night in the morning so we'll see what happens all right off about eight in the morning just rechucked my right hand rod it's that orange thing in the trees in line with that three quarters of the way across bubbling up won't do it now, I've got the camera on it, obviously. So I've chucked a pineapple bastard at that. On a boom rig with a size 6 crank. I baited up the corner spot. Last night, put a load of boardies out there. We will drop the left hand rod onto that. I call that a day spot. I don't want fish going off. With me in my little humble abode. 
looking at Red Tube or whatever it may be. Uh, I mean Netflix. So <clears throat> fish are still out long. So I've left the rod 24 wrappers. Yo, bing, about bam bomb. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Loz is in next door. He put some sneaky little rods in because they were showing long in front of that swim. No one really fishes that swim. So um, time for coffee number three. Lovely jubbly. Well, it's the old cliche. Who cares what they look like when they weigh like this? But check this puppy out. <laughs> 21 pound. I'm extremely pleased with that fish. Fish number three. Check that side out. That's for there. Let's do that first. 21 pound four ounces of absolute bucks magic. Look at that beauty. <laughs> See you later. So she's 21 pounds. Gave a lovely fight. Long, isn't it? You all good, Loz? All good, mate. I'll do you first. We'll come in a bit closer, mate. Okay, mate. Lovely scales, isn't it? I'm going to put a new hook on now. Oh, what? <laughs> That's two now we've had in that, isn't it? Yeah? Yep. Nice car. Well, it's been a lovely day, so we've got the barbecue, some, some music there, some barbecue there, did a bit of uh, the red light area going on to the side. Loz is looking over at the fish, jumping over his spot, <laughs> which they've done a lot, haven't they, to be fair. Yeah. You've got more than half a chance there. And uh, yeah, we've had a lovely time. So yeah, a bit of music. Got some lamb, and there's some sausages over here, some Cumberlands and that. We've done a trade-off, one of my steaks for two of his sausages, that's good. So, and we've got some barbecue vegetables going on in there. Which I know we're struggling with a little bit on the focusing, but um, a lovely day for British carp fishing. Seven o'clock the next day, last morning. Been a good session, had fun. Caught a few fish. Big ones still elude me. That's 23 fish now since I came back from Thailand. The biggest ones, that 28, four common. <laughs> oh well, get the bites and the big ones will come. Lol's had a 28 this morning. Good angling on his behalf. And kettle's now on. Lovely jubbly. They're always moaning about my kettle. I say it's nothing wrong with it. Anyway. Four carp in a bag, three tw sort of 20, 21s and the 28. So still time for another yet. You never know that big and may just come. Come on. Get a nice scenic shot, probably to end this session. Ah. Oh.